Three BC. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Three BC, powered by the Kazukian Network. This is your girl Joy. I am your host for today, and one of the BCs, and I got my two of my BCs here, um, <laughs> Chloe and one Solo. What's up, ladies? <laughs> Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Casey the Alchemist is missing in action right now, but we'll come back and reclaim her for the next episode. Today's episode is one of our first um, for first segments in Rooting for Everybody Black. And that's where we're going to talk about black businesses and black people doing their thing and just push our businesses, our people, highlight them, celebrate them, and promote them. And today, our first guest for Rooting for Everybody Black is Monique Williams. Hello. She is the proprietress, <laughs> one of the pro- <laughs> one of <laughs> the owners of Trap Fusion here in our hometown, Memphis, Tennessee. But she's also girl positive, girl power centered with her new ent- entity, Black Chick Think Tank. So, Monique, welcome to the show. Hi. Hey, Hi, girl. everybody. Glad Welcome. to be here. So we decided to taste the food on air. Y'all, I'm not going to lie. Half of it didn't make it into the studio because it was so good. We were smashing Mm-mm. it. Mm-mm. It's smashing it's it. Over. I was saying, you know, this food is making me cuss because it is just so <laughs> damn good. And, so and good. that wasn't the word I was using, but it's so, delicious. Yeah, we I'm use still some other words. eating a little bit of the jerk pasta and if, yeah. Oh my God. You have to have it. It's absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna taste it on air just to be authentic. I've had her food before, and it's amazing. It's consistent. It's right in Whitehaven. The address, Momo. Forty six thirty seven Bourneshire Drive, right off of Shelby Drive. Right in the Haven, y'all. In the Haven. And it is so. I'm having a jerk chicken pasta too. And no I'm gonna be grub hubbing it tonight. Or this evening, in a minute, when we leave, for me and and my aunt. (laughs) (laughs) And when the world opens up, when you fly into Memphis, it is probably two minutes by Mm -hmm. Uber from the airport. So you can run. Our airport is so small. Mm -hmm. You can run out the airport, drive around Shelby Drive, Boynshire, get this good eating, and be back through security checkpoint on your flight, like, in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then we want to talk about what else we had. We had jerk chicken. You had uh, jerk chicken. Uh, with rice and peas on a bed of rice and peas. Legit. You had a uh, grilled cabbage and you had a uh, zucchini and squash. And I brought a jerk chicken patty. So oh my that God. Patty. That jerk chicken patty. Good Lord. Thanks, mm. Amy. Thanks, yeah. Amy. That jerk chicken I'm patty. I'm sorry. Y'all. She came oh, girl, in you wasn't going to get any of that. It was delicious. It was flaky. You snooze, it was you lose, boo. Wonderful patient. It was just good. That's that all right. I well, you. I know where she at. I got so you. I'm just going to go get it. That's, That's right. Come see me. Spot. Come see me. I got you. <laughs> that jerk chicken patty was so good, though. It was so good. I mean, it was like legit, like something out of Brooklyn. It was good. Out of Brooklyn, and they sell cocoa bed. out of Kingston. <laughs> we strive to please. <laughs> well, yeah. We strive to please. Well, yeah, keep going. Kingston. Yeah. You're right. It was right. delicious. We strive to right. please. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it, you know, and uh, I know Joy uh, partakes quite a few. I she's do. Compa- she's partaking quite a few times, you know, and uh, I wanted to bring one of her favorites, which was the jerk pasta so with good. no cheese. Mm. So, so, good. so good. <laughs> no cheese. And that was a damn good idea because, <laughs> oh, it was damn good. Mm-hmm. So, Monique, how did you get started? Like, how did this idea go from you cooking, everybody in your family love your cooking, and you to you saying – that I'm about to step out and do it. Well, it's it's I'm trying to make a, a long story short. My grandmother was a pastry chef, first of all. So I grew up Laura. around. Yeah, Laura. Laura's kitchen. Yeah, Laura's kitchen. That's my grandmother. You know, God, you know, yeah, I miss her a lot. But uh, she, I grew up eating home cooked meals. We had a, a garden in the backyard. Oh. Her and my uh, grandfather both from Mississippi. Yes. So I grew up with fresh cooked vegetables, you know, and just all that good stuff. And then coming home from school. From so st- wait a minute, man. You're not from Jamaica, man? I am not from Jamaica, I had man. the rice and peas. I, I thought know, you were straight from Jamaica, man. No, 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 no. Not from Jamaica. You're from Mississippi. I, you no, know, I'm from Memphis. They're from Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> 
not too far you know away but yeah <laughs> but yeah so we i grew up with that so i would go you know central high school come home and it'd be fresh baked bread mm. on the oven you know mm. rising for life for life that's right yeah that's mm-hmm. what we do yeah yeah the high school but uh <laughs> but uh yeah so it yeah so it started <laughs> it started there and uh but i just went a whole nother path with the school for something totally different and Hey, you used to have a very stressful job. So I would come home and I would bake. You know, I just started baking things and doing, you know, baking cakes and cookies. And, and, and she, had, you had a cupcake company yeah, I had a, Yeah, I had a bakery, Patty Cakes Bake Shop. and named it after that because that's the game my grandma used to play with me when I was a yes, kid. Right. So mm-hmm. I wanted to, you know, keeping it authentic and true. It's all about my grandmother, you know. And, yes. the cu- and she's a good baker. The cupcakes were good. She yeah. did Addison's birthday every year. And she would do designs on the top. She put ballet slippers yeah. on Ooh, there. Yeah. You talking about good looking and good tasting? Because a lot of it's a yeah. lot of good looking no, cupcakes out here. No, but see, I, I did. I do cupcakes. I do. Um, I used to do sculpted cakes, wedding mm. cakes, but also I like things like creme brulee and you know yes, eclairs and pedophores. Mm. So I do desserts oh, like Lord, that. Oh Lord, I didn't yes, know you did yeah. pedophores. The fondue. Yeah, 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 I like the fancy. I'm a little. Yeah, that's <laughs> why brulee. we'll mm. get to it. But that's why you get the fusion and trail fusion. I like mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. You know. I'm a girly girl. I like for it to look pretty, you yes. know. So, uh, and she did fondant crowns one year. Yeah. For us. So did, did you learn that in Paris? Did you go to Paris? Uh, to no, learn those I things? learned it from a few YouTube videos. Yes. You know? Wow. <laughs> and I just decided to do it because I always I like I you know I love to. I'm, I, you know, I'm one. Of, I'm an artsy girl. So, and my dad was an artist. So I used to paint mm. and draw and do all of that. So the sculpting was kind of like a little evolution of that. You so know? you have a natural gift for yeah. all of this. Clearly, I guess so. I guess you would say that, yeah. And I'm, no, I'm going to say yeah. it. You have <laughs> you a natural <laughs> gift for all but of But you were just burning up your energies in a corporate space. Yeah, and I like literally burned it up all the way until February 28th of this year when I finally decided, you know, hey, I'm over it, you know. Mm-hmm. So and now I'm like straight entrepreneur. So living mm-hmm. this new life, trying to see how it goes, you know, but, you know, just trusting that I can make it off my gifts. So honestly, and from Patty Cakes. I closed it down for a few years. My daughter was getting ready to go to college. I'm like, okay, I'm tired. You know, I'm just going to break for a minute. And But that, that fire kept burning. Opened up Laura's Kitchen in Bartlett. Mm-hmm. Uh, did well over there. Participated in Black Restaurant Week, all of that. A lot of the festivals in town uh, with Memphis Flyer. And I still do those and I Heart. And decided, you know what? I don't want to pay a lease. I'm going to get a food truck. So I got the food truck with a with my bit one of my business partners, who was also one of my business partners in Trap Fusion, decided, you know, uh we need a catering kitchen. This little, this truck, even though it's a commercial kitchen on wheels, is not big enough to do everything. Get it found. He found a spot in Whitehaven. I live in Bartlett, Lakeland. It's like, oh my wow. God, that's like 30 minutes, but you know, we're going to try it out. And they didn't want it to be just a catering kitchen. They said, hey, we need a restaurant in this neighborhood. And the neighborhood needed, you know, a little spark it to it. Mm-hmm. So here comes, you know, at first trap kitchen. Okay, okay, trap kitchen. We were like, oh, we're just going to run in and run out. It's going to be the trap, you know, just mm-hmm. joking about it. It's like, okay, well, we can't do that, you know. And another good friend of mine was like, uh, you don't want to name it that. So I came up with, came up with Trap Fusion. You know, because, you know, you know, just because the connotation of being in, you know, na- you know, in the hood, even though it's not the hood, you know, and then the fusion part, bringing in other elements and different, you know, um, cuisines like you guys had the Caribbean. I look Caribbean mm-hmm. flair today. Uh, so we went to that, you know, and then uh, he was more we always say that my guys, I have two business partners, uh, Jason Gardner and um, Marquise McCoy. And they're two big, tall, big guys, like six, four big guys. And here I am with my little five, four self. So they're the trap. And I'm the fusion. I bring, <laughs> I bring the girl. So I bring the sweetness. So we we uh, just kind of mesh together, Jason and I, with a lot of the different things. He's uh, uh, his grandmother. His inspiration came from his grandma too, and cooking in the kitchen. And I had that as well. And we just came together as a team and tried to create something that wasn't in the neighborhood, bring in a lot of healthy elements, and yeah. just. Um, you know, just do something different. And it's been really a uh, blessing. We've done really well in the neighborhood. So that's kind of the story as quick as I can tell it without taking up too much time. Mm-hmm. Well, I want to shout out to Jason's other business, Belief Cigars, which is also based in the Haven. Oh, in the Haven. Not too far that. from Trap Kitch- Trap Fusion. 
um, on Elvis Presley. Yep, it's on Elvis on Presley. Shelby, right off Shelby Drive. Yep. Also. All right. Love Building up awesome. White Haven. Yeah. I love that. Right. Shout out. Rebuilding. To Rebuilding. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it used to be the hub. It used to it be did. a hub of our community. Absolutely. It did. It's so really shout growing. out Belief Cigars as well. Yeah, it's really growing over there. And we we opened up on May 17th of last year as a takeout spot, you know, where you just come in, get your food. You can sit at the counter if you wanted to and eat in a little bistro table. But back in January, before the pandemic, you know, uh, really came about, uh, we had started, we, we acquired the Bay right next to us. Oh. So we're actually, uh, the first of July will be opening up the sit down portion of our restaurant. So you'll oh, wow. be able to come now and get your food and sit down. And if you do live like where I live 30 minutes away and you want to come visit, you know, the trap, you know, come on out and yep. have a seat and enjoy some of the food and the ambiance. You know, we, we definitely have a lot of black art on the wall. Uh, Mosile is one of our artists that we use and he's actually built a bar in the new spot too that's oh, wow. really nice so uh we so just his woodwork drink, is drink nice on. huh he's his woodwork is very oh, nice yeah. shout out to moselle yeah but he's also my neighbor yeah i discovered he, on the walk he I was is like, oh yeah he's I in Glen- yep he's in the area yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I i saw him on the walk yep. so yeah his work is very very nice he had some one i stopped and asked him about his wood chairs and it was hmm. really nice he did a palette bar. For yeah, us. It he made he uses really palettes, mm-hmm. and he'll stain them and stuff. It's beautiful. Yeah, mm-hmm. all things brown. Look at yeah, <laughs> look at all this talent. All black, rooting for everybody. Yeah, black. all black, black and um, black, everybody. and more black, huh? And yeah. talk about and talk about the menu, Monique, because the menu is very special and yeah. member specific. Y'all got the skinny pimp. Yeah, hot we got dog. the skinny pimp. What? Yeah, his skinny it's pimp skinny, actually came skinny, over and tried. Pimp? We got pictures with him. Yeah, it's it's uh, like a grilled beef hot dog with uh. Um, a baked bean. We don't use any pork, so it's a baked bean with a turkey, uh, tur- ground turkey mm-hmm. in it, and our coleslaw, and it's on Texas toast. And it's such a sloppy sandwich, but I had one yesterday. I was like, oh god, I shouldn't be eating this, but it's so good. The flavors just mesh together, and that goes back to the whole fusion thing, taking things and putting it together. So skinny people, you know, like even like if you look at the menu and some of the names, you know, you'll say these people are crazy. So we started off. We have like entrees. We call those the the uh, main squeeze and then uh-huh. with your M-A-N, side that's m-a-n-e M-A- main yeah it's a main squeeze non-mempian and then and then we have uh for um the size that's your side piece so <laughs> <laughs> so so people come in all the time they're looking yeah. at it and it's like wait main squeeze? oh they just start laughing like who did mm-hmm. that you know mm-hmm. but we have these like skinny uh, skinny pip getty green you know different different mm-hmm. songs mm-hmm. we have uh let me think in my mind we got so uh, we got the Memphis, Maine, which, of course, we came with this. I'm from Memphis, Maine is what we call, but for short, Memphis, Maine. It's we uh, special for Fridays and Saturdays, which is spaghetti, catfish, I coleslaw. Say, and spaghetti and catfish. When you say Friday, yeah. I already knew what the menu <laughs> was. was. You say know what the menu is. Yeah, yeah and, and for me, in my household, my grandmother grew up, you know, she light bread, but you can also say white bread. Mm, you get right. bread. It's not toasted because we toast it, but you're going to get just a piece of bread. So correct. Right. That's, that's, that's how you got it growing yeah. up. And for all y'all who are not from here, <laughs> we don't want to hear. Well, spaghetti is a main dish. No, if not you are south. from the south, the south, spaghetti is a side. Okay, but correct. And don't you come hand me no, no plate a, full of spaghetti, spaghetti with a sauce on it and a piece of toast <laughs> and, and no, no meat, chicken, and no meat, no it. pork chop, right, or no fish on the side. And if it's and Friday, no meat in it. we want and some no fish. <laughs> <laughs> and dog on it, and it has meat. And I matter of fact, I had to one of our. Uh, <laughs> One of our cooks before I left, he was like, Mo, taste the sauce. And I was like, oh, it's good. Add a little pepper. <laughs> <laughs> so, and um, we have a, a And chick- then also, let me say this too. You know, if anybody has ever met a Memphis person or pissed off a Memphis person, you have heard, I'm from Memphis, man. Right. Because that's what we're going to tell you. Exactly. If I just told get, somebody that actually a few you, days ago. I said, man, I'm from Memphis. I'm from Memphis, yes. man. No, I ain't scared. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you so if you get on, on the that. wrong side right. of that line. Yep. South Memphis at you that. You heard that. Yeah. And you know how to say it. I'm from Memphis, man. I'm exactly. <laughs> yeah. You hit that main hard. You got to hit it hard. You got to hit it hard. You got to hit it hard. We so have, have. We have. um a chicken sandwich too as well that is so funny like I, I laugh because my my my, my partners the trap you know 
you know, they talk about we have a chicken, our, the original OG, which is the original chicken sandwich they said that every kid had. I didn't experience that. Was a chicken leg and a piece of bread. bread. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's and it's right. like, that's original. And white bread. And white bread. And white bread. And white bread. Mm-hmm. Exactly. What other kind of head? We know it wasn't no <laughs> other chicken sandwich. That was <laughs> it. No wheat bread. So we had no that. buns. Yeah. You didn't get wheat bread till they thought they would get smart. And, and the grandparents had it. And they were like, that's where you get wheat bread going on your grandma house. Right. After, you, after grandma got that. And, 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 yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the, the sugar. The sugar. Or no. she would watch. They were like, well, wheat bread is healthier. And so we're going to have wheat bread. And you hate one going over there. Like, Ain't no white bread over here. <laughs> one but one brand. Roman meal. That's mm-hmm. the only one. Roman meal. Mm-hmm. And for white bread, it was what? Wonder, Wonder bread. bread. That's the best exactly. bread. Exactly. Wonder bread. Yeah. And so <laughs> this we, we try to play on the names of different things. Uh, we have like, we have um, McCoy, who is one of my other business. He is the juice man. Because he makes all these different natural juices. So we have juices. Like we got Berry Me a G instead of Mary. What it's like a berry juice. So we come up he comes up with we come mm-hmm. up with all these different names for things. So it's like a And he makes that lemonade or iced tea? Yeah. He, the, yeah. Lemonade iced tea? Yeah, he makes a lemonade iced tea. We do Ooh, things with hibiscus. What's so hibiscus? Yeah, with hibiscus. Juices. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. sounds yeah. delicious. With, with actual real hibiscus. Not got a tea bag that has hibiscus in it, but actual hibiscus. And we boil some, it. You got some purple make, flowers over yes, there. Yes, ma'am. We do absolutely wow. yeah yeah so that's why we can't wait to get past this covid stuff because we've had yes. to like you know alter a few things on the menu to be able to sustain during this time mm-hmm. which we have done really well thankfully you know uh but and yeah so shout out to to the haven and all the supporters of trap fusion because you guys really you know kept us going doing that and you know and well, some businesses had to close, you know, we really were doing well. You know, we yes. had slow March yeah. and then April was like what COVID, you know, almost. So mm-hmm. uh really a blessing, you know. Mm-hmm. Yes. But um yeah, just a lot of different things. I, I have a chocolate pie that I make, but we call it the Black Haven. <laughs> you know, so people come over and get the Black Haven, you know, and I, I have a, a sweet potato pie that we cannot keep on in the you know, on the shelf, sweet potato and a sweet potato pecan pie. That uh that we sell as well. So and, and school butter cookies. Shout out, <laughs> oh shout, Lord. but shout out to Daniel. Yeah, and Dan. Oh yeah, but Neva Mayweather. Yeah, cinnamon Mayweather. rolls. Yeah, oh, oh you got out. them rolls. Yeah, that's our dude. That's our dude. And we also have. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and is we, that not the best cinnamon roll you in, ever life. in life? In my life, he makes us the little mini ones, so you won't feel guilty. The cinnamon shots. Ones. Yeah, it's uh, just like the little bitty cinnamon rolls in the pack, and you could just pop one. This makes you not feel bad. Oh, you know? Lord, I, I haven't had. I gotta get one. <laughs> we leave you know? Makes you not feel bad as well Man, as I was stuck on the school cookies. Yeah. So. <laughs> And my grandmother worked for Memphis City School, this, so I have oh, the real right, recipe. Baby. That's what people say. Like, but no, I have the real recipe. And um, and Pop Kernels, who is another black-owned mm-hmm. business, uh, Tameko, um, uh, Wade, she, uh, we we specialize in her popcorn. We're the only business in White Haven that carries Pop Kernels, and we have our own a brand, brand of it that she makes for us, which is like a, a spicy cheddar and caramel, so it's really and good. And a lemonade. Yeah, popcorn. yeah, and lemonade. Yeah, we have lemonade, all Lemonade, popcorn. Y'all know yeah. I love lemonade and lemon everything. I'm, I don't know what to so do. So while we stealing from Issa with Fruit and For Everybody Black, I'm going to say shout out again to y'all for networking across. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the goal. I mean, that really is the goal. You know, we you know we, we, we joke, we play on the whole trap thing, but, you know, our goals is we're trapping taste buds. You know, and there's so many. I go back, like, I've had relationships with, like, Daniel and I call her Tammy, uh, Pop Kernels, um, since Patty mm-hmm. Cakes, which was, like, my bakery, you mm-hmm. know, years ago. Yeah. So it's like whenever I get the opportunity to pull in yeah. somebody that I know that has good quality, even Mosiah, I've worked with him for a few years, you know. I've known Joy forever, you know. So it's like, you know, we have to uplift each other, you know, because right. if we don't do it, who else is going to do it, you know. So when the opportunity arises, I'm going to say, hey, come on. I got you. Come on my way. So uh, we have a lot of, you know, black businesses and looking to add additional ones to uh, the things that we do, like our T-shirts and the T-shirt brands and the different styles. So we have they're they're um, done by a company. I can't think of her name, so I have to get that back to you guys. But that's a black owned company. You know, mm-hmm. everybody that's building that, uh, helping us to assist us to build out our building. This, you know, it's uh, black uh, contractors as well as the person mm-hmm. that owns the uh, complex that we're in. Uh, 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 Brayden, 
in Braden and Braden, you know, black mm-hmm. owned. So, you know, it's all a thing. black everything. Yeah, all black everything. Black on you black know, on black, black, baby. Black on black on black. That's so, right. If we don't help <laughs> our own economy, who will? These dollars circulating in our community. Right. right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, and it, like I said, it's really been a blessing, you know, and we've just got a lot of support being over there in the year. You know, it's, yeah. it is truly exceeded our expectations you know so we can't wait to see what this new year is going to bring about you know we are in the process of hiring so i'm saying that hiring hiring uh, in memphis we need more people uh working and you gotta wanna who actually want to work, work who want to work and you know build and job build job. alongside absolutely yes. can't sit and look pretty that's right yeah, right absolutely we're not in in um we're not just looking at white haven we're looking at expanding so we good. need good people on our team that are ready to grow and expand along with us and good. you know and if they can be black that would be good you know but you know it's like we want yeah. people to come you know I, we could you know a lot of our people are unemployed and looking for work and we're hiring well here's so. a job y'all yeah Check thank you out. uh thank you momo for coming thank you this is again this is monique williams give us the address again to trap fusion in the haven Forty six thirty seven Bornshire drive uh right off of the expressway right off of shelby drive come through and y'all can do curbside if you need to and then in july 1st if we're clear enough we'll, y'all can come and sit down oh well, we so love that <laughs> this has been 3bc powered by the kazuki network and this is Rooting for Everybody Black with Trap Fusion and Monique Williams. Thank you to my girls, Chloe and Juan Solo. This is your girl, Joy, and we'll see you on the next episode. Holla. 3BC, recorded at Kazookian Studios. Directed, produced, and distributed by Kazookian. Join the conversation at facebook.com slash 3BC.